come onto your back. And begin to bring your awareness to your breath. And as you settle yourself down onto your mat, begin to follow your breath as it moves through the body. And sense the breath entering the body from the base of the spine all the way up as you inhale to the crown of your head. And then with each exhalation, allow the back body to become heavy on your mat as you release the breath from the crown of your head to the base of your spine. With each of your inhalations, create a sense of openness and space in the front of your body. And with each exhalation, allow the back body to relax down and be heavy. As you draw the breath in, perhaps you can Think about drawing in a sense of peace and quiet, tranquility. And as you exhale, exhale out any tension or tightness that you might feel in your body today. Inhale peace and serenity and exhale tension. And now bring your hands to rest at your abdomen. And take a minute to just feel your hands as they rest on the belly. And as your hands rest on the abdomen, visualize a deep ruby red. Perhaps the red of a juicy strawberry or tomato. or the red skin of an apple. Red is the color associated with the Muladhara Chakra and the Root Chakra. So as you rest here, imagine that you have roots growing down into the ground, keeping you grounded, keeping you steady on your path giving you purpose and strength. As we move into, well, in the beginning of September, I believe we'll be moving into our sixth month of life with COVID. So during this whole time, it's been unsettling for everybody. 
And it's important for us to remember to be grounded, to feel the connection to family, to the earth, to our friends, to the roots that make us strong. And then let your arms come down by your sides. And today for pranayama, for our breath work, we'll do the Veloma breath that we've done in the past. So remember, this is the breath where we breathe in three separate breaths. And as we breathe in with the first breath, we pause at the, at, after that, and then breathe in the second breath and pause, and third breath and pause. And then with the exhale, exhale in one breath and pause at the bottom of the breath. So let's begin. Inhale about one third and pause. Inhale again and pause. And then inhale to your full lung capacity and pause. And then exhale slowly in one breath Pause at the bottom of the breath, and then inhale, one third, and pause. Inhale the second third, and pause. Inhale the final third, and pause. And then exhale, and once again, pause at the bottom of the breath. And take a few more rounds of the Loma breath on your own. And now you can let your breath come back to its natural rhythm. And if your knees are bent out to the sides, you can extend them out long on your mat. If you prefer to keep your feet flat on the floor with the knees bent, that's okay too. And then with your next inhale, reach your arms up, take them all the way behind you, press through your heels. And stretch the backs of your legs and then relax the feet bring your arms down by your sides reach your arms up take them all the way behind you press through the balls of your feet and then exhale bring your arms down relax your feet and then take the arms up and as you reach through your fingertips press through the entire sole of your foot as if you're standing up and reach and stretch and then bring your arms up to the ceiling and just keep a little integrity in your feet no need to really um, firm them but just keep a little integrity in them and open and close your hands and then tuck your thumbs under your fingers and make a loose fist and make some circles with your wrists and then go the other way And then wave your hands up and down. And then bring your palms together. And interlace your fingers, relax the shoulders away from your ears. 
and then turn your palms up towards the ceiling. And take your folded hands behind you, press your palms away, and then once again, imagine that you're standing upright and you press your feet into the floor. And then bring your folded hands up, keep the integrity in the legs, bend your elbows and bring your hands to your chest, and then press your hands towards your feet, bend your elbows in, and reach the arms up. Release the interlace of your hands and wiggle your fingers. And then with your palms facing one another, reach your fingertips up to the ceiling, shrug your shoulders up, and then place them down. Shrug the shoulders up, and then place them down. And one more time, reach up, shrug your shoulders, and place them down. And then hold on to opposite elbows, take your arms behind you, or on your forehead, and just take a moment to breathe in, feel the length in your body. Perhaps as you scan your body in your mind's eye, you can notice what's touching the mat. Maybe even notice if, they, if you've got any spots where that you're a little tight. And then with your exhale, draw the folded arms up and let them hover just above your ribs and make some circles with your arms. And then pause and reach your arms to the ceiling again. Refold your arms, bring the other forearm in front and once again, take the arms behind you. And just take a couple of deep breaths in and out. And then bring the folded arms up and then make circles in the other direction. Reach your arms up, take them all the way behind you and stretch, bring your ankles together, bring your arms close to your ears. If you can bring your hands together, bring your hands together. And then exhale, bring your arms down by your sides and then separate your feet. And point and flex your feet. And then scrunch and spread your toes. Make circles with your ankles. And then go the other way. And then bring the big toes together and point your toes. And then relax the toes and bring the pinky toes to the floor. And then just windshield wipe your feet in and out. And slide your heels, tap the backs of your legs. And then bend your knees and bring your feet flat to the floor. I'm just gonna move my bolster. So slide your, um, take your hands to the tops of your glutes and slide that buttock flesh down towards your heels to elongate your spine. And it slightly tips the pelvis towards the face as well. And then walk your hands down towards your feet. Make sure your knees are pointed straight up to the ceiling. And then press your feet into the floor and press your lower back into the floor by doing a pelvic tilt and release. Press your feet, press the lower back into the mat, and release, and press your feet, press the lower back into the mat, and release. And bring your knees into your chest and rock them in and out. And keep the knees, the thighs hugged in towards your chest for a moment, and then rock from side to side. And then hold on behind your knees and take your legs, let your legs just sort of relax and just rock in and out. And keep your feet relaxed, keep your legs sort of relaxed. 
and then take the legs up slightly higher. And again, keep the feet relaxed. You don't have to flex them, just keep them relaxed. And once again, rock in and out. So each time we take the thighs and the legs in a different position, you get a little bit different spot on your back. And now take your feet flat up to the ceiling. And then once again, rock your thighs in towards your chest. So you might feel this a little higher up, maybe towards the shoulder blades. And then extend your legs. And bring them in. And extend the legs. And bring them in. And one more time, extend the legs. And bring them in. And then bring your feet to the floor. Extend both legs and arms and reach and stretch and do a pelvic tilt. And then bring your knees into your chest again, rock them in and out. Let your knees fall away from your body, cross the left ankle over the right, and make some slow circles around your low back and sacrum. And then pause and change the cross of your ankles and go in the other direction. Bring your knees in towards your chest and rock in and out. And then keep the thighs crossed, uh, keep the thighs in towards your chest and your ankles crossed. And once again, rock from side to side. And then release your ankles, take the legs straight up again, and then take them wide. Point and flex your feet. Make circles. And then go the other way. And bring the legs together. And then take them wide. And bring them together. And one more time, take them wide. And bring the legs together. And lower your right foot. And hold on to your left knee with the left hand. Bring it in towards your left shoulder. And then release and then take it in your right hand. Bring it over to your right shoulder. And then come back and hold on again with your left hand. Make some circles with your left hip. And then pause and go the other way. Hug your thigh in, reach your leg up, and then bend your thigh towards your chest. Press your leg up, bend your thigh in, and press the leg up, and bend your thigh in, rock it in and out a couple times, and then keep that bend in your knee, walk your hands up towards your ankle or your shin or your calf, wherever you can reach, and then straighten the back of your leg, and point through your, the ball of your foot. And then bring your left ankle over the right knee and roll open your hip with your left hand. Bring your knees into your chest and rock in and out. And then lower your right foot to the floor, cross the left leg all the way over. Bring your knees in. And then hold on, slide your hands down to your calves or your ankles, wherever you can reach and then separate the feet. And then bring your shins parallel to the floor and your left foot can either be right next to your left right ankle or you can tuck it underneath the right ankle. And then your arms, you're gonna take your arms and wrap the arms with the right arm on top, left arm under. And if you can't wrap the arms all the way, just hold on to opposite shoulders. So if you have a shoulder injury, this might be a better way to go. And then draw your navel into your spine. And then release your arms, release your legs, take your feet as wide as your mat, and rock your knees from side to side. And then bring your feet back to hip distance and bring your right thigh in close to your chest. 
And then hold on to the right knee with the right hand and bring it in towards your right shoulder. And then take the knee into the left hand, draw it over to the left shoulder. Come back to the center, hold on to the right knee with the right hand again, and then make some circles. And then go the other way. Draw your thigh to your chest and reach your leg up. And then bend your knee in and reach up. Bring your thigh to your chest and reach up. And bring your thigh in, reach, just rock in and out a couple times. And then walk your hand up towards your ankle or your shin straighten the back of your leg. And then bend your knee, bring your ankle over your left knee. Use your right hand to roll open your right hip and then bring your knees into your chest. Rock in and out. And then lower the left foot, cross the right leg all the way over, bring your knees in. Slide your hands down to your ankles, separate your feet. And then bring your shins parallel to the floor. Try and stack your knees over your hips. Keep the right foot either next to your left ankle or tuck it underneath. And this time when we wrap the arms, we're gonna wrap the left arm on top, right arm under. And again, you can hold on to opposite shoulders whichever one feels better for you. Draw your navel into your spine and don't forget to breathe. We're only gonna be here for 10 minutes. I can't hear you laughing, but I know you are. <laughs> Even in my old jokes. And then release your arms, release your legs and rock your knees from side to side. Take your knees all the way over to the right for a nice stretch in the front of your left hip flexor. And then come up to the center and take your knees all the way over to the left for the same stretch on the other side. Extend your legs, extend your arms, reach and stretch, do a pelvic tilt and point your toes. And then release your arms down by your sides. Take your belt. And let's bend the knees. Take your left foot up into the belt. So remember, if your knee is bent when you're at 90 degrees, just lower the leg a little bit so that it gets to be so that it's straight. If your leg is straight at 90 degrees, then you're all set. Walk your belt down towards the back of your heel and then draw the heel down so that your toes point, you get a nice stretch in the front of your left um, foot and ankle. You might even feel it in your um, chin. And then walk up, walk your belt up to the big toe and little toe mount. And then draw your toes down towards your face. This gives you a stretch in the back of your leg. And then just walk the belt to the middle of your foot. Take the belt into your left hand, right hand to your right hip. And as you exhale, take the left leg to the left and the right knee to the right. And then just to get a little rotation in your hips, turn your toe down, the right, the left toes down towards the floor. And then come back to parallel and bring your left leg up. Take your right thigh behind the left and then let your left leg go to the right. Come back to the middle. Take your right foot up into the belt, bring the left leg down. And walk the belt down towards your heel. And then draw down on the belt to stretch the front of your right leg and ankle. 
and then walk the belt up toward the big toe and little toe mounts. And then draw your toes down towards your face. Big stretch in the back of your leg. And then bring the belt back to the center of your foot. Take the belt into your right hand, left hand to your left hip. And as you exhale, right leg to the right, left knee to the left. And then turn the right toes down towards the floor. And then come back up to the middle. Swap the belt into your left hand and cross the legs and let the right leg go to the left. Come back up to the middle. Take both feet into the belt. Take your legs wide and just rock from side to side. And then you can bring your feet back down to the floor, set your belt aside. Take your arms up overhead, reach and stretch. And then bring your arms down by your sides, bend your knees, roll to one side, and we'll sit up. Bring your hands to your knees. And as you sit down onto your mat, think about rooting down through your sitting bones. So we focused our attention on the Muladhara chakra. So now imagine that there are roots growing from the sitting bones down into the earth, creating stability and strength. With your exhale, lower your chin to your chest. And then bring it back to parallel. And turn your head to the left. And then to the right. And turn your head to the left. And to the right. Come back to the middle and lower the chin towards the chest again. And then come back to the center. Take your arms to your sides. And just tent the fingers, press your fingertips into your mat, stretch your arms, and release. Press the fingertips into the mat and release. And one more time, press your fingertips into the mat and release. And then reach your arms up. Turn your palms and exhale. Inhale, reach up. Turn your palms, exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up. Interlace your palms, press them up. Interlace your fingers and press your palms up to the ceiling. And then with your exhale, lower your arms and round your back. And then inhale, lift up. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, and round your back. Inhale, reach up. Release the interlace of the hands. Wiggle your fingers. Turn the palms and exhale, release. Roll your shoulders. And reverse. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale with a ha. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Reach across your body with your left arm. And really feel that nice stretch in the back of your shoulder. And then come back again and do it on the other side and come back and then reach across and down. 
and across and down. You get into the lats a little bit. And then come back to the center. Take your left hand to your right knee and take your right hand behind you. And draw your navel in, soften your lower back and exhale, twist ribs, chest and shoulders. Keep your chin, try to keep your chin in line with your sternum. And then come back to the center. Take the right hand to the left knee, left hand behind you. Relax your lower back, draw the navel in and twist ribs, chest and shoulders. And then come back to the center and round your back and lift up and round your back and lift up. And one more time, round your back and lift up. And then just come forward. Just bring your hands out in front of you wherever they go. So if you have your right leg in first and then your left, you'll feel this in your um, left hip. A little bit more pronounced than in the right, although today I feel it in both hips. And then walk yourself up and then change the cross of your legs. And come forward. So now if your left leg is in, you may be feeling this in your right hip. And walk yourself up. Take your legs out in front of you and slide your heels, tap the backs of your legs. And if you're sitting up on something, you can stay on it, or if you feel like you'd like to come straight down onto your mat, you certainly can do that as well. Bring your hands to the sides of your hips, draw your kneecaps up, gently flex your feet for Dandasana. And then come forward. Press into your legs and lift up your chest. Walk yourself back up. Take your hands behind you and bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees drop out to the sides. And then take your legs long again. Sit in Dandasana and then come forward. Press into your legs, lift up, and walk yourself back. Take your hands behind you again, open and bring the soles of the feet together. And then one last time, take your legs out in front of you, slide your heels. Come to sit in Dandasana. And if you can hold on to your toes with the first two fingers and your thumbs, reach for your, in between your toes, press your thumbs into the big toe nail. Otherwise, just bring your hands to your shins. And then inhale, lift up. And then walk yourself up. Tap your knees. Take the legs wide and roll the flat thigh flesh down towards the floor. And then just bring your hands forward. Spread your fingers nice and wide, press into the floor and lift up your chest. And then walk yourself back up, turn towards your left leg, fold forward and reach through your right arm. And then walk yourself back up and now twist towards your right leg, fold forward and reach through your left arm. And then walk back up and one last time come forward. And then walk yourself up, hold on behind your knees 
Bring the soles of your feet together again. This time, hold on to the slope to your ankles. And then interlace your fingers and hold on to the outside edges of your feet. And let the knees draw to the sides. Good. And then take your right leg long, bring your left foot in to your thigh and fold forward. Hold on to your right ankle with the right hand. Inhale and reach up and then fold. Inhale, lift up and lower. And then inhale, lift up and lower. Walk yourself up, turn towards your bent knee and turn towards your straight leg. Come back to the center. Take the left leg, cross it over the right. Take your right arm, wrap it around the left shin, and then take your left hand behind you. Hug your thigh to your chest and your chest to your thigh, and then twist. Come back to the center, and you can let your leg just um, open up like this, or if you can stack your knees one over the other, you're welcome to do that. Either way, we're just gonna work on opening up the back of the leg. So if you're here, um, just come forward, wherever you are, just come forward. And then come back up, and then set your left foot on the floor. And now just rock your left knee back and forth to help open up your left hip. And then bring your left hand to the inside of your left knee. Take your right hand behind you and just press the knee open. And then come back and extend the left leg, slide your heels. And then hold on behind your right knee, bring it into your left thigh. And then hinge forward. Hold on to the left ankle with the left hand and reach up with the right arm and lower down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and lower. And one more time, inhale, reach up, exhale, and lower. And then walk yourself up, turn towards the bent knee, and then towards your straight leg. Come back to the center, take the right leg, cross it over the left. Left arm wraps around the front of the right shin, or you can use your hand. And then take your right hand behind you, Hug the knee to the chest and chest to the knee, and then twist. Come back to the center and just cross the leg over the top of your knee, or again, you can stack the knees if that works for you, and then just come forward. And then walk yourself back up. Bring your foot flat to the floor and just rock the knee a couple times. And then take your left hand behind you, right knee, right hand to the inside of the right knee. Press the leg open. And then come back, extend both legs, tap your knees. And then let's come up onto hands and knees. So have your blocks nearby, maybe at the top of your mat, just. And then bring your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips and round your back and lift your chest and round your back and lift your chest. And then step your left foot forward. So take your blocks to either side of your left foot 
by the ankle. Slide your right leg back any amount. And then slide your hips back, straighten the left leg. Bring your blocks with you if you need them to help get the leg straight. And then come forward. And remember, you can go in two steps by bringing your hand to your thigh, or you can take the arms straight up for crescent lunge. And now slowly bring your hands to the center of your chest. Keep a nice, steady breathe breath. With your exhale, twist and bring your right elbow over the left thigh and twist. Come back to the center and bring your hands to your blocks and step your left foot foot back. Step your right foot forward. Good. And then slide the hips back, straighten your left leg, your right leg. Come back to the center, press into your blocks. Again, in two steps by bringing your hands to your thigh or you can go all the way up. And then keep your breath steady, keep your gaze focused for a moment, bring your hands to your heart. And then with your exhale, take the left arm over the right thigh. Whoops. And twist. Come back to the center. Curl the toes on your left foot, come up to a high runner's lunge. And then step your blocks forward. And you can either come forward in one step or in two to come into forward fold. So bring the blocks underneath your shoulders and bring your knees over your, uh, your hips over your um, ankles. So another way to think of that is to bring the weight of your body onto the balls of your feet. The one thing you want to, do, want to avoid is you don't want your hips way back here because it pulls on the back of your legs. So if you try and keep yourself even, you won't pull any muscles back there. And then just bend and straighten your knees a couple of times. And now bend your knees a lot, bring your ribs to your thighs, lower your hands towards the floor, and then press your feet into the floor and lift up Slowly come all the way up, reach your arms up, bring your hands to your heart, pause in Tadasana. Take a moment, take your breath. Good. Come to the center of your mat. We're just going to build a little heat here, so we've done this before. It's sort of a modified version of um, a sun salutation. So we're going to start by reaching up, fold forward, inhale up halfway with the arms out to your sides, exhale and lower, and then inhale all the way up, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale up halfway, exhale lower. Inhale all the way up, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Inhale up, exhale, lower. Inhale all the way up, hands to your heart. Reach up, fold forward. Inhale up, exhale, lower. Inhale all the way up, bring your hands to your heart. One more, reach up. Fold forward. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Inhale all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart. Pause in Tadasana. Press your feet into the floor. Lift up your kneecaps. Descend the buttock flesh. Lift your chest. Reach your hands down towards the floor. And lift the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Reach up with both arms. Bring the palms together and then reach them up and lean them over towards your right. Press into your right foot. 
Inhale up. And then exhale to the left, press into the left foot. Inhale up. Lower the right arm. Reach up with the left. And lean over to the right. Bring both arms up. Lower the left arm, reach up with the right, and reach over to the left. And then bring both arms up, turn your palms, exhale and release. Bend your knees, roll your shoulders, inhale up and exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale with a ha. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. And now take your blocks and bring them to the back corners of your mat. Let's see if I can just a little bit so you can see my feet and my head. Well, probably more important for you to see my feet. Okay. So step your feet wide. So your blocks now should be just about behind your heels. So take a minute to adjust them if you need to. And then turn your left toes up to 90 degrees and turn your right toes in. Good, soften your knee, turn your thigh towards the pinky toe side of your foot and then straighten your leg and lift up your kneecaps. Reach your arms up to a T. This is my new joke. I don't know. I may have already used it with you. But I feel like I'm in Saturday night fever. Ah. <laughs> and so reach with the left arm. Cut in with your left hip. Reach and stretch. Bring your hand to the block behind your ankle. And then take your top arm up or keep it at your, at your hip if you need to. Good. Press into your feet. Reach up with that top arm, come back up, whoops, to parallel, reverse your triangle. And then bring your arms back to parallel. Reach back with the back hand, extend your knee over your ankle for warrior two. Inhale, reach up, straighten your front leg, bring your arms up overhead. And then exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, inhale, lift up. Exhale, warrior two. Bring your forearm to your thigh. Back hand to your hip, roll open your shoulder. Reach your arm up, bring it next to your ear. Sweep the top arm down, come back up to warrior two. Reach back with your back hand, straighten your front leg, bring your hands to your hips and turn your feet. And then take your right toes out to 90 degrees and turn your left toes in. Soften your knee. Turn your thigh, straighten your leg. Reach your arms out to a T, relax your shoulders. Reach, cut in with your left hip, reach with the left arm, and then reach and come down, bring your hand to your block. Take the top arm up or on your hip if you have a shoulder problem. Good. And then press into your feet, reach up with the top arm, reverse your triangle. Come back to warrior two, or arms out. Reach back with your back arm, extend your knee over your ankle for warrior two. And then straighten the front leg, reach up with your arms. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower and hold. 
And then bring your back hand to your hip, bring your forearm to your thigh. Roll your shoulder open. Reach up with the top arm, bring it next to your ear. And then sweep the top arm down and around. Come back to warrior two. Reach back with your back hand, straighten your front leg. Bring your hands to your hips, turn your feet, and then heel toe your feet together. So we're going to um, do tree pose. So if you have a chair or a wall close by that you would like to use to help with your balance, by all means, do that. Or a piece of furniture, whichever, whatever's closest. So begin by bringing your feet together and bring your hands to your hips. Press into the big toe mound on your left foot and then take your right foot either to your ankle, your calf, or if you're feeling like you can today, bring the foot all the way up into your thigh. And then when you're ready, bring your hands to the center of your chest. <coughs> Excuse me. And then reach your arms up. Release your arms, release your body. <coughs> dust and not a bug. <laughs> All right. <coughs> press your feet into the floor, especially press into the right big toe mound. Find a focal point and fix your gaze. Take your left foot either to your ankle, to your calf, or again, if you are prepared, you can bring your foot up into your thigh. <clears throat> and then bring your hands to the center of your chest and reach your arms up. And then release your arms, release your leg. <clears throat> and then come to the top of your mat. Inhale and reach your arms up and exhale, fold forward. Step back with your, <clears throat> step your feet back for a downward facing dog. Glide forward to plank. Press back for downward dog. And then come up onto your toes, down to your knees, and press your hips back to rest in extended child's pose. And then slowly roll up. <clears throat> roll to one side. Bring your legs out in front of you. And roll yourself back down onto your mat. Draw your knees into your chest and move them in and out. Hold on to the outside edges of your feet or your ankles your calves, wherever you can reach, and then rock from side to side and have you baby. <clears throat> and then bring your feet to the floor, extend your legs, extend your arms, reach and stretch, do a pelvic tilt, and then bring your arms down by your sides and let your feet splay to the corners of your mat, and you can prepare for Shavasana. <clears throat> Good. 
So as you rest yourself down on your mat, bring your awareness back to your breath. And as we do in the beginning, bring your breath, your awareness back to your breath. And relax your hips and your legs. Relax your belly and your chest. Relax the skin on your neck <clears throat> and the skin on your face. Relax your scalp. And this is called the pendulum swings. <clears throat> Have patience. The pendulum that swung too far in one direction will swing back. At the moment of its turning, everything hangs in the balance. All the momentum of past actions is suspended in midair, and those who care about what happens next are poised with it. There's a long and anxious pause before the motion shifts and then a sense of free fall when the world is turned on its head and nothing is known or normal. Have patience then and do not rush to either extreme. The way will paint its own arrows on the trees if you can wait for clarity. <clears throat> And now you can begin to wiggle your toes and your fingers, stretch your body. And then slowly roll to your right side and pause there for a moment. <clears throat> Take a long, slow, deep breath in and a long, slow, complete breath out. And then gently press yourself up to come and sit in Sukhasana. And then with your hands at the center of your chest, lower your head, reminding us to surrender the busy thinking mind to the wisdom and the intuition that resides in the heart. And please join me. May the long time sun shine upon you, all of surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way home. Namaste.